All right, I'm looking at the Razer Synapse Local Privilege Escalation Zero Day Vulnerability that was published uh, just yesterday on the 21st of, or the 22nd of August. And uh, I decided, well, I've got a Razer mouse, which is all you really need for this vulnerability. Let's test it out. Now, I did try this with a Death Adder 2013 earlier today, but it doesn't have the correct driver to uh, do this vulnerability, to exploit this vulnerability. Uh, so now I have a Death Adder Elite RZ01-0201, uh, and this one, yeah, you can do a local privilege escalation just by plugging in a mouse. And uh, this is a lot of fun, so let's have a quick look. First of all, all you really need uh, is a mouse running and uh, to be running Windows 10 and we're just going to plug that in which we'll do in just a moment. I'll just show you the, the news article by Bleeping Computer right here by Lawrence Abrams and uh, the post is regarding a tweet by John Hatt on Twitter at John Hatt and it says getting system privileges by plugging in a mouse and it really is that straightforward. And the reason this works is because when Windows 10 automatically tries to install the driver for this mouse, it also installs the bundled Synapse software and therein lies the, uh, the vulnerability and it's extremely easy to exploit. So what is Synapse? Well, it's some software which uh, it kind of is to manage your Razer devices and save all your settings to the cloud so that you can bring your macros and key bindings with you and your RGB stuff. Uh, anecdotally, I don't think many people use it. Uh, I've never really used it, but I suppose it's kind of handy if you are, uh, yeah, you want to bring your key bindings with you, I suppose. So let's have a look. Uh, so, well, the first thing we'll do, well, let's show you that I am, uh, I'm not an admin, so if I try and install the Synapse software manually, it'll ask me to put in an admin account password. And just to drive this home, we'll just have a look. So I'm the CDX user, and I'm not a member of administrators, so I cannot run anything as admin unless I switch over to the admin account. Uh, so we'll just close this down. Uh, there, yes, cancel. So let's have a look what happens when we plug in a USB mouse. And uh, you can see the the driver is automatically installed, but it's also running this installation at the same time. Whereas usually you would just get some driver kind of pop up in your device manager and everything will be working. And by the way, the mouse is already working. You don't actually need the Razer Synapse software at all, uh, as you probably guessed, because yeah, it's just for kind of doing some customizations and key binding stuff. And here is where the vulnerability lies. So you can change the install location. Now look at this. If we have a look under details and we have a look for Razer install, it doesn't tell us who the username is, but if we try and end the task, it, it doesn't allow us to. You need admin privileges. So we can tell that this is kind of running as an admin and that makes sense because when you install a driver, well, the, the driver installation has to happen as an administrator to be able to write to the, the correct uh, place in the file system. So if we come in here, this dialog box will open. We can see a little Razer logo in this dialog box here. And if you right click, where well, you get a few options. If you shift and right click, you get an additional option, open PowerShell window here. This might look different depending on your Windows environment. But if we open PowerShell, 
And, uh, well, we can just run who am I. And we're running a system. So what does that mean? Well, we can basically do whatever we want. This is game over already, really. Uh, but let's just drive this point home. So I'm going to add myself to the local administrative group. Local group. Administrators. Add myself. Come on, completed successfully. And let's have a look. Here's the account. Now a member of admin. So we can kind of do whatever we want. Now, does this really matter? Uh, well, you need a mouse uh, that has the Razer Synapse software. So not the 2013 Death Adder, but a lot of the newer Razer devices, if they come bundled with this in the driver, which is a bit strange. I don't see, I mean, you don't need this software. So, and I don't usually use it anyway. Uh, so I'll just leave it uninstalled. Um, now, Razer have come out and, and acknowledged John Hatt's discovery and they've said that they're working on a fix for this. Uh, however, I wonder if the fix is simply just to not bundle the Synapse installation with the driver because you don't, and I, I can't imagine many people use it. I'm sure it gives Razer a lot of telemetry and data points on their user base and um, but it just doesn't seem like something that should really be happening, right? Because if you're trying to install uh, just a mouse by, and it should just be a plug and play mouse, then we don't really need Synapse software. If you want that, you can go and I'm sure you'll, you'll be able to find it on the website and download it uh, like I did. Um, last thing we'll do is just have a quick look at the uh, the CVSS score for this one and just uh, plot in the scores here. So for a base score attack vector, well, we need physical access. So the attack requires the attacker to physically touch or manipulate the vulnerable component. So yes, that's physical. Attack complexity, uh, an attacker can expect repeatable success against the vulnerable. Yeah, it's low. Privileges required, well, it's not none because you need, I mean, you need some, you'd like a, at least a user logged into Windows to be able to do this, right? So we uh, we make that low. You don't need to have admin, for example. User interaction is required. Now for scope, unchanged is that the exploited vulnerability can only affect resources managed by the same security authority. So in this case, uh, that being the Synapse software, uh, and changed is the exploited vulnerability can affect resources beyond the security scope managed by the security authority of the vulnerable component. So the vulnerable component is Synapse. However, when you exploit this vulnerability, the vulnerable component becomes the entire system. So we say the scope has changed here. Now for confidentiality, integrity, and availability, will these all have to be high because we can now run any commands or code as an administrator, which means that we can read all the files, we can change all the files, we can delete all the files, we can shut the entire system off. And yes, you need physical access, but this is the way the score works. We have a 7.2, which is high. We don't really need to, I mean, for your environment, uh, you can have a look at the environmental scores. So do we really care about confidentiality on this system, or maybe we don't, maybe we don't care about the integrity, maybe we just need the it to always be available. So we just set that to high, you know, bring this down, we can change this and bring it a bit lower. Um, that depends on your requirements, and this will be different per system and per environment. Temporal score, uh, well, the exploit code maturity is unproven, no code is available, no. Proof of concept, yes. Functional code exploit is available, yep. And high, functional autonomous code exists and no exploit is required, manual tree, yeah. So it'll be a high here. Uh, now the temporal score can only be used to bring, by the way, the base score lower. It doesn't actually make it higher. Uh, so for example, if it was an unproven exploit, we come down to 6.6. .6. 
um, but it's actually high. The remediation level, so there's no patch for it. Razor say they're working on a patch. So hopefully that'll come out at some point uh, and I'll be watching that and maybe I'll make an update uh, when that happens. I'll say it's unavailable though for now. And the report confidence, well, it's been confirmed by Razor, so we can say this is confirmed. So this is unchanged. The only thing that you can get to bring this down beneath a seven is to make a few environmental score changes based on your environment. Um, but that's that. So we plug in a mouse, we get uh, local privilege escalation. I think this is a great bug. Uh, very fun, I suggest you try it if you have all of these things lying around, just Windows 10 and a Razer mouse that has these Synapse bundled with its driver. Uh, and the last thing is uh, that Razer did give John Hat a bug bounty reward, which I think this is awesome, uh, even though I, I guess well, John had saying that he tried to do responsible disclosure. Ray they didn't respond or he wasn't happy with their response or something um, and just went and released it anyway without Ray the fixing it already or acknowledging it. Uh, but you know, it sounds to me like John Hatt uh, did everything he thought he should have to do before disclosing this one and uh, away you go. So I think the interesting thing is about this vulnerability as well is if there's any other peripherals that you connect to your system and they automatically install not only the driver but some software as well then you might find some similar bugs you might be able to get yourself a bug bounty uh, or a cve or something cool to go next to your name and uh, yeah i just think that's really cool so let me know what you think about this bug uh, in the comments below and uh, yeah we'll see you in the next video